Hey you guys, happy Monday. Um, today, I know usually people do a reset Sunday. My reset actually is gonna be today, which is Monday, simply because I go back to work on Tuesday. I work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. So I wanted to do a little small reset. My reset is not gonna be much, you guys. Um, I just got finished eating, eating and doing devotion and everything, and now, um, a video that you guys haven't seen yet. I'm not sure if this video is going to go up or my unboxing um, some items is going to go up first. But any, at any rate, um, I did purchase some items that I'm going to use uh, to kind of like organize underneath my sink cabinet and my master bath as well as my drawers. So I'm going to try to do that today because uh, it's been a Y'all, <laughs> I suppose to been have done this, okay? You know how you move into your home or whatever or apartment or what have you, and you say you're going to go ahead and organize everything as soon as you get in so you won't have to worry about it? Well, I did say that when I first moved into uh, our new construction home that I was going to go ahead and do everything now so I won't have to worry about it. Well, that was a fail. Underneath my cabinet is a hot mess, and I'm going to show you guys in a moment. As well as, it's hard for me to stay organized. Let me know in the comment section if you guys also find that you have that issue. Like, I will organize everything, either myself or somebody in my family will come and just screw up my organization. So, that is going to be a struggle for me, but hopefully I can overcome it once I have it set how I want it organized. Hopefully it can stay that way. So, and also on the schedule for today, um, on the list for today, hopefully I need to tackle my hair, y'all. My hair looks a hot mess. Um, this gray, this angry gray, I cannot get rid of it. I even, y'all don't mind my hands, they're ashy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I when I went to get my hair uh, blow dried and uh, silk press and everything, she did put a, I think the dye is called Demi, a Demi dye. And she said that's like a permanent dye. Y'all, within a week, my gray was coming back through, okay? And she said it's because of new growth. I guess my hair just grow fast. But anyways, um, yeah, nothing can hang on to the gray. So I'm going to have to just try to dye it again with the semi-permanent dye. It's natural. I think it's a semi-permanent dye, but it's for natural hair. So that is on my schedule for today. I don't know if I'm going to get to it or not. Also, I wanted to run to the store to get a couple of some microwavable dinners. So try to do on the healthy side so I won't have to keep buying foods um, for my three nights that I have to work. And then later today, I'm going to really reset by taking me a spa light bath, which is going to include those items that I purchased and showed you guys. Again, I'm not sure if you guys want to see this video or the video where I did my unboxing and showing items that I purchased. But at any rate, you guys, I'm going to go in here and show you how the hot mess is looking <laughs> underneath my sink cabinet as well as my drawers and my master bath. I'm not going to get to my husband's side because I only bought two of the... Uh, items that I'm going to use underneath the sink. It, well, I only bought one because it was a set, a set of two. And I wanted to see how it works before I purchase another one. And I know I'm going to utilize both of these. So enough talking, you guys. I'm going to show you real quick how it looks. And then I'm going to put you on hyperlink, not hyperlink, on hyperlapse as I organize it. And then I'll show you the finale of it. So let's get to it, you guys. Okay guys, so here's the mess. Excuse the echo, I am in my bathroom. But do you guys see all the craziness underneath there? Yeah, and you can see the two baskets that I attempt to start it organizing. Um, but yeah, it was a fail. It was uh, a fail, a big fail. But um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this stuff out 
And I guess as I pull it out, I do have a trash bag. Um, items that I no longer use or need or has expired or what have you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those things and then I'm going to organize it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I probably will put it on Hyperlapse. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna put it on Hyperlapse. I'm just, excuse me, gonna show you guys what I put in the trash and what I'm going to actually organize. And then I'll show you the finale or something like that. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I have finished getting everything from underneath my cabinet. I do need to clean it, but just to show you guys everything that was over there, I kind of started out putting things in categories so it'd be easy for me to put it back. But the, lar the largest category that I did have is hair care. So mostly the stuff that's on the sink is hair care items. Um, and then down here is like, uh, that time, that girly time of the month time. Those in the bags is like jewelry containers, makeup containers that I have not used yet that I purchased from Dollar Tree a long time ago. And then these items over here is like skincare or either vitamins, um, things like that. And that basket is like um, after I take a shower as well as some skincare in there. That wasn't underneath there, but just to let you know what's there. And then I also have a small, well, I actually started out putting personal um, hygiene stuff, but the hair care stuff took over. So I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean this and then I'm going to organize. Oh, I got a little bit of items in here. I don't even know what's in there yet completely. I haven't gone through that basket. But yeah, so I've cleaned underneath here. Well, not clean, but got all of this stuff from underneath there. And now I'm going to clean it. And then I'm going to organize it. I'm going to show you guys the things that I'm going to use real quick. Just in case you haven't seen the other video. Or uh, this video comes before then. So, hold on. Alright guys. So, I went ahead and I also cleaned out my drawers. I don't have any contact paper. I wish I did. That's that pump it up stuff that will not come out. Um, right now. So, clean out my drawers. These are the two things that I'm going to use for underneath my cabinet. Um, they came in a set from Amazon. I'll link it again in this video because I'm not sure if that other video is gonna go up first. But yeah, they came as a set. It was very easy to put together. No screws, you just screw these things here on and then put the top on top and press it down. Simple as that. They got these two hooks that you can hang brushes or whatever on. Um, it's a total of four, two, four on each um, stand. So I got two here and two on the other side. So this is what I'm going to utilize to um, put some of the items back under my cabinet. And then I have some other items that I bought from Amazon, but they came from Life Wit. These containers here that I'm going to use too. Again, that's in the other video. Um, I'll link it 25 pieces. I forgot how much it cost. So I'll come back and show y'all how it looks. Okay guys, I am finished. Are y'all ready for the finale to see how everything looks? I'll show y'all a before and here is after so much better all right let me explain everything to you guys up here on top I have all of my curly products that I use with my clips and stuff uh, deep conditioner um, creams for my hair, some oils, 
uh, shampoo, conditioner, some gel, all of that stuff is at the top. And then on the bottom, I pretty much have stuff that I use for my straight hair, as well as my water bottle, which I don't have any room for the top, so I just put it down at the bottom. And then my spray bottle for my hair, rather. And then here I have a comb, and then on the, um, over here is the thing to put on my hair to when I'm doing my skincare on my face. Then in the middle, I have all the skincare that I'm currently using. In the back is a, just a bag that has some more uh, skincare in there. And then the bottom is the bag where my makeup is. I really need to go through that because there's a lot of stuff I need to throw away, but I'm too tired to go through that right now. And then over here, I have all my, like my personal um, hygiene stuff, vitamins, things of that nature on the top, spa bath um, stuff. Uh, facial stuff, as I stated again, some vitamins, uh, soap, and then on the bottom I have some more skincare that I'm not using. In the middle here, some more stuff that I can put to uh, when I'm doing my skincare, protect my hair. That's uh, facial when I want to cover my eyes and relax when I'm in the tub. Um, what else I have down here? Some hand sanitizer, um, some more skincare, some nail stuff. Uh, I think I got my shaving stuff down there as well. Some balm bath. Uh, so yeah, then I have also the thing to scrub my feet with and some gloves to exfoliate, exfoliate with and some spa, facial spas. Here is some candles. So yeah, that is my cabinet underneath my sink. It looks so much better. I know where everything is now. Um, they do have the ones that have that you can actually pull out the bottom, but I didn't get that one. I think it'll be okay for me to get the items that I need. At least everything is organized. I know where it is. And then I know I did not show y'all a before of my drawers, but let me just show you how it looks as I organized them. This top portion here self-explanatory mouth care, some more stuff for the face. I put stuff up here too, in case my husband want to use some. Dental floss, Q-tips, some cotton balls. Um, and here, my mouthwash is um, on the bottom where my personal hygiene stuff is. Y'all probably didn't see it. And then um, here is some medicine, uh, prescription medications, which is I'm not really on medicine. That's just like muscle relaxer. I do have a chronic back injury. Everything here is PRN. I don't use every day as needed. Some cold medicine stuff, urinary pain relief, some stuff for my back, like some gel and muscle relaxer, nose spray, um, naproxen, ibuprofen stuff. Here's my nail stuff back here if I want to do my own nails. This is some bandages, um, some false nails here. Uh, some vitamin E for your hands, some a small hand sanitizer, some nail polish, and the stuff for when I do a, a manicure at home, which is very rare. And then this bottom here is some of the makeup. I'm not, I don't use makeup a lot, y'all, but I do have some. And as I stated, I do have a bag of makeup that I need to go through that's probably old. Probably need to throw everything in there away. These are my makeup brushes. Yes, they are. Dirt, not brushes, but my makeup sponges. They are dirty. I need to clean them. And again, just a real different makeup in here. Um, and then back here, I have, this is some perfume from Scentbird. And this is some stuff from Victoria's Secret, Dollar Tree. All this is like bath stuff to smell good after, after your bath. And then, um, except for this, I think this is some shower gel that I have. This is some more hair, hair stuff like scrunchies, barbie pins, and then my brush, and some gloves in the back, and then I got some little hair things to hold my hair, and some safety pins in the bottom. So yeah, I did not get to my husband's side today because I am tired, but I'm so happy that I did it, y'all. It looks so, 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 so good. Very, very satisfied, very satisfactory. Very, very satisfying when I look at it. I love it. So now I'm going to get ready to do my little 
spa bath so I can relax and watch TV. So y'all stay tuned. I'm just going to um I'm just going to uh put some music over there. I'm not gonna talk through that. So I'm gonna show y'all what I use for my bath and everything, but how feel so good I showered first and put my um exfoliated my skin and then I got in the tub and I feel so good I'll show y'all the whole fit that I have on in a moment we're getting ready to go downstairs and have our nightcap of cup of coffee y'all what I was drinking was this in the tub I don't really drink every blue moon glass of wine anniversary birthday something like that but but this year for my birthday, I didn't. I think I was just tired, but yeah, this is what I was drinking here. But let's go downstairs and get our cup of coffee and then just gonna watch some TV because I work tomorrow night. I'm a night owl, y'all. I don't sleep because I work at nights. But anyways, I did brush my hair, did not wash it, but I've put some water in it and I brushed it and put it in a little bun. But 
I'll wash it Friday before Mother's Day. So, yeah, so let's go downstairs, y'all, and I'll show y'all the whole fit because you probably, I'll try it in the bathroom, but if not, you'll see it when I go downstairs. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not. It's shorts with the um, shirt. It's spaghetti scrap, scraps. And then the robe. The robe doesn't have any pockets, but it does have a tie. And this is oversized on me. This is a 2X. I purchased this from Ross. So of course I'm not able to link it because Ross is not um, online. But yeah, this is my little set that I purchased. And I like it. Yeah, it is oversized, but it's fine. Because I like to be comfortable. Wish it had pockets, but it does not have pockets, but that's okay. So, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I feel so good, y'all. I feel so good. <laughs> okay, guys. So, y'all can get a better look. A better look at it now that I'm downstairs. Um full view this is the top and the shorts and then it has this robe and like I said the robe does have a um, scrap on the inside so you can make sure it's secure on the inside and then it also have a belt on the outside if I can find the other part of it <laughs> also have a belt here so and like I say it is oversized this is a 2x I do not wear 2x but I like it the shirt is you know but it's comfortable very comfortable this was the only size that they had and I did want a three-piece I wanted something with the matching robe so yeah and this was from Ross for $21 all three pieces so yeah but how about y'all hold on Y'all, <laughs> y'all remember I said I was going to come downstairs and get me a cup of coffee? Child, listen, I left the coffee. <laughs> First of all, I went to Walmart and they did not have any buggies on the inside. All of the buggies were on the outside. So I knew I wasn't going to get that much, um, but I had to carry things in my hands and I remember putting the stuff down so I can place the yogurt on top. So I never picked the coffee back up. <laughs> I left the coffee container um, in the area where the yogurt was. And I did not realize it until just now. I'm downstairs looking for my coffee so I can fix me a cup. Child, you can't fix no coffee if you don't have it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyhow, Guess I'll drink another glass of my sparkling um, rosé, Welch sparkling rosé, and eat me one of my um, honey buns that I got from Walmart. Um, I can go ahead and show you all, you guys, what else I purchased from um, from Walmart. Hold on, because I had my mouth chewed up for a cup of coffee. Honey. I um. Yeah, I thought for sure I was about to get me a cup of coffee because I have not had any coffee. Um, I have not had a cup of coffee in a while. I think the last time I had some was um, what last the last day I worked, Friday. Yeah, and today is Monday, so I haven't had coffee since Monday. I mean, <laughs> since Friday, but um, I purchased this to eat for lunch. Because y'all, I've been lazy. I don't, do not feel like cooking. And this is only 390 calories. I think this was like 264 or 278, something like that. It was it was less than three dollars. And then also this one, and this is 350 calories. Not that I'm really counting calories, but y'all, I need to lose some weight. I went to for my women's health. And I was not satisfied with what that scale said, okay? And I don't even look it. I don't look like I wear that much. That's the that's the thing. But anyways, I need to lose some weight. And then I purchased this one here. And this one is, um, well, it's about two servings. So 
this whole container <laughs> is 930 calories. Uh, one serving is 440. Well, I normally eat this whole thing, so. But um, those, these are the items that I purchased to carry for lunch for the next three nights, because I do work three consecutive nights. So yeah, and I wanted to go ahead and have something so I won't have to be worrying about what I'm gonna eat, what I'm gonna take for lunch. Um, so yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say, y'all. Um, by the way, my face, y'all, I love that stuff that I bought from Ross, um, the vitamin C. It came with the oil, the eye cream, and the vitamin C face moisturizer cream. Moisturizer cream, yeah. The oil, vitamin C oil, the eye cream, as well as the moisturizing vitamin C facial cream. It came with all three of those in the set for only, I think, $11.99. I did a video. Y'all can go back and watch that. Hopefully that one be up. That video will be up before this because even I hauled this too in that video. But um, yeah, so that's why my face is looking like this. And um, it's very, very, very moisturized, very moisturized. So yeah, um, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for my little Monday reset. Um, I'm going to, <laughs> instead of drinking a cup of coffee, I'm gonna have another glass of this sparkling juice and eat my little snack, watch some TV. It's what, a little after midnight. It's what, nine minutes before 1 a.m. So I will probably go to bed around three. That's normally I go to bed anywhere between three and six um, a.m. I really try to stay up as much as I can on my last night off so I can sleep tomorrow um, day um, so I can have enough rest for to be up for 12 hours. <laughs> so yeah, but anyways, guys, I wanna thank you so much um, for chiming in on this video, clicking on my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I don't know what day you guys will see this, but this is, well, it's now Tuesday morning since it's after midnight, but I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Remember to take time out for yourself. Make sure you reset, not just your body, but also reset your mind. That is very, very important. Um, yeah, and continue to love yourself, spend time with yourself, uh, treat yourself well, because no one's gonna treat, well, I take that back, because you do have some people who treat themselves badly, and my heart goes out to those people. But anyways, um, make sure you love on yourself, okay? love on yourself first because you if you don't love yourself it's really really hard to love other people but with that being said you guys make sure you love yourself stay true to yourself and be the best you that you can be until the next time this is monique i love you guys Baby girl, god bless you're so fine. i can't get you off my mind oh girl